Quickly before the video starts, I just want to say one of my subscribers asked me to make a how to rig a character tutorial. I think it was Accenerate, I think that's your name. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but that video is being made. <laughs> Next video is gonna be how to rig a character. So yeah, enjoy. Hi guys and girls, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make oak trees in three different ways. The first way is my favorite and it's by hand. So you just press shift A, add in a cylinder, change the vertice count to eight, and simply just um, scale it a bit and uh, then uh, move some vertices around and um, you can scale them, you can extrude them, you scale them again, you can rotate and you get you will eventually get something like this. You can add more detail if you want. The second way is also pretty cool. Press shift A, add in a cube and then select the whole cube and just deselect one vertex. Delete the whole the rest of the cube and now press shift control alt C and geometry to origin. And now it's in the middle right here. So now go to modifier tab and add in a skin modifier and now you can move extrude this and you'll get uh, eventually you'll get a nice tree look. If this is too low poly for you, you can just add a subdivision modifier. Also, if you want to be a bit creative, you can just uh, go to the bottom vertex and just extrude some roots. As you can see, this is pretty edgy. Get it? Because the tree is on the edge. Okay, moving on. The third way, which I also like to call, oh, I'm a programmer. I don't know how to use Blender way, aka using a tree sapling gen. So what you do is go to File, User Preferences, and type in here in Add-ons tab, type in Sapling, and enable this. Now you can just go Shift A, Curve, and Sapling Tree Gen. Just click Bevel here, and you got your tree. Those are the three ways. The last step is, of course, adding the leaves. This is the same on all three steps. Just press Shift A, Mesh, Icosphere. Now you can just move it up and scale it then you can press O to use some proportional editing to add more randomness if you feel frisky enough you can um, press shift D and then uh, use this again oh my god this is the absolutely the worst tree I ever made okay if you got something like this it means you're doing it wrong because this I'm pretty sure this is not how trees look of course since uh, the first way is my favorite I'm gonna use the first way of doing it to make a tree. Okay, this is the tree I made. It's very simple and hopefully you guys enjoyed. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you enjoyed and if you did be sure to leave a like on the video because it helps me out. Subscribe, that helps me even more and uh, comment down below if you want to see any specific videos on what you will need or if you need some advice or something. I don't know. Just be free. And also go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I have random polls there and a random stories and random behind the scenes things so if you if you want to see that you can go follow me on my social media there's a link in the description and hopefully i'll see you next time bye bye